Okay, we got it all grouted now. Starting the framing. Looks pretty good. We're pulling the braces out now. Get all the window bracing out. Looks really nice. The framing, that's a bearing partition there. There's another one over here on the other side. There's a fireplace we're putting a beam in there. Here's the other bearing partition here. We'll be setting these trusses and getting some decking on, get some shade to work in here. It's a wall for the second story. Like I said, it's all grouted all now. Grouted. The upstairs there is all grouted. Another view from out here at the street. Well, it's really starting to come together. We got the trusses up now. Starting to get some shade. See the parapets there. We'll be putting this patio up here shortly. We've got to get a crane out of here, lift up some beams. We've got three big beams, and we're going to lift the trusses up on top of that upper deck. Early in the morning, just getting started. Put the stairs in now. You always want to glue them down. You always want to shoot your nails straight down and don't make sure you don't get too close to the edge. There you go. Got the swinger set on the second uh, lift here. There's a landing here, and then there's the stairs going down there. We just glued a three quarter board. You always put a three quarter board behind your stringers, that way, when you go to drywall, you can uh, slip your drywall behind. You don't have to cut it around all the stairs. Here's a little better view of that three quarters I was talking about. That way, the drywallers don't have to cut their drywall around every step you can see that there Coming up here they're putting the last couple of treads on now okay you got the stairs all done coming up here makes it a lot easier to get up to the second story when you have stairs finishing up the framing now get a little more decking to do put that shear on the parapets Starting to take shape now. Looking good. Yeah. There's a flashing on the windows. Another one here. One more day. It's really coming together. These are the glass block windows that we're putting in. You always want to paint the edges black. Uh, that way, once you get them in, you're not seeing any raw material in there there's the holes up here where they go there's two of them here and then two of them over there here's the windows here after they're installed you can see by putting that double bucking in there you got plenty of stuff to nail your drywall to and your corner bead to on the inside of the window All cocked in nice and tight. This is the outside of the window. You can see the flashing here. You can see on the bottom there, the sides lap over the bottom, and then up top, the top laps over the sides. And then they'll address this with some foam and chicken wire when we do the stucco. You see there, the parapet's out of wood. What we'll do is we'll put tar paper and then foam on there but they wrap that block. down over and let that chip chicken wire lap over about a foot and that'll tie it all together very little chance of a crack because you've got 87 percent recycled styrofoam EF block and then hundred percent styrofoam pop outs you can see that that's recessed there an inch for the foam and those holes there where the scuppers are going to go